Hey beautiful people, it may seem as though we have a lot of interesting things to talk about in today's video. So you might want to stay true to the end. But briefly, let's talk about something, the voiceovers. Um, hope you guys don't mind me doing voiceovers. What do you guys think about me doing voiceovers? Although the reason this is happening is because I have been up and about. From Lagos to Port Harcourt, Pitakwa people, I hello. <laughs> Although I'll be out of Port Harcourt like real soon. But I'm vlogging and you guys are going to see that vlog. But for now, let's head on to the business of today. So, as usual, Ibuka has his interviews with the housemates, um, the final six housemates that left the house. So, now let's start with Ima because there are some interesting things that occurred in his interview. So, first of all, Ibuka started by asking Emmanuel about liquorous, that at what point in the house did he notice liquorous? And he was like, from the moment she walked in, that he noticed her from the moment she walked in, that he looked at her like, okay, I know this person from somewhere. This person looks a little bit familiar. And then when he now got to talk to her, he asked her whether she does, she's a dancer and all. I think the first moment she walked in, I was like, this face, I think I've seen this face for something. The second time we spoke, I was like, you're a dancer, this is, this is, this. I was like, yeah. And then Ibuka also asked him like what attracted him to her. And he said that the fact that she's smart, she's intelligent, and she can also dance. She's smart. She's, <laughs> she's intelligent and yeah, she can dance. And then after, you know, the initial questions, you know, <laughs> we kind of went for that to ask, what's up with them? Imawa was now saying, what's up, that they are still good. They're funny enough, they're still good. While he was answering these questions, we can just hit him with another question. He said, were you guys in the same room last night? And Imawa was shocked. <laughs> like, uh-huh. What? <laughs> you know, we've hung out a couple of times and... Were you in the same room last night? <laughs> Briefly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was really exhausted, so I had to let her go to bed. But we had, we had time to talk a little. Now, why is this, you know, a little bit interesting to me? Right from when they had their dinner, like when a Big Brother gifted them that dinner, all the things that they said to themselves, they even discussed, you know, their sex life and everything. Everything has just been building up generally. Everything has just been building up between them. So some part of me, some part of me, the naughty part of me kind of imagined what the um, first night out of the house would be like. I just felt like, hmm, it's going to be hot. <laughs> You guys, this is not me speaking. This is Anita the boss speaking. This is not the real Anita. So now, then we kind of asked and he now said, okay, that they just talked for a while. I said, okay, oh, it's all right. Um, moving forward, uh, we don't know how other nights are going to be and it's none of our business. So we're just going to move on <laughs> to the next agenda. <laughs> So, um, if we can ask him about other people, the other ladies in question, that what's up with Angel, that there was a lot of um, talk about him flirting with Angel and stuff. In my mind, I said that it was Cruz that he was catching in the house, that um, everybody in the house is a flirt, basically. Now the house means are flirt. Last, last, everybody in the house was a flirt. So, he now said, ah, instead of him to be dulling on one side, why not, you know, join the cruise system? And then he decided to cruise with um, a lot of the ladies. Himself and Angel were both catching cruise. Cruise is the, the word of this season, catching cruise. And then Ebukana asked, what of Sasuke? He said with Sasuke too, it was also cruise. Ebukana asked, what of Maria? I said, hey, when did all these ones come into the equation? <laughs> Angel, I genuinely like you. You're from my place. I understand how things have been with you. See, like a sister, then I came up with the name Baby Sister. The whole flirting thing didn't stop. So like okay, as they flirt, give me my little give me understand. So you're saying you flirting back or just cruising? We're both catching cruising in the house. Yeah. So they also had an interview with Toke Makiwa on the buzz on Showmax. So um, she asked Emmanuel about his ship with Liquorous. That what's up? Were there any real feelings there? And Emmanuel was like, yeah, of course there were feelings. That he fell in love with her personality, you know, just everything about her, and that they are in love. You guys, <laughs> hey. We have entered love. Not just that he loves her. He said they are in love. That they are both in love. I do not um, fall in love with her beauty, but then her personality as well. She is amazing. I don't, know, I don't know. If I'm in love, we are in love. So she passed. You guys can probably join the boat or enter the ship. <laughs> So that's it. Too. That's it for this video. I'm going to talk about the top three in my next video. I just decided to separate it so that the video is not too long. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'm going to see you in the, my next video. Bye. Love you.